let's go. Morning, everybody. Good Saturday morning. It's gonna be a beautiful day out here. Beautiful day to get stuff done. Jeez, yo. Anything to say to the good people this morning? Anything? Chevy, how about you? Hey, anything to say? I dug a hole, I got in trouble. It's a good day so far. So last night our washing machine uh, broke for our laundry. So today we have to go get a new one. And the wife wants a set. Washer and dryer that matches. I agree, I would like a set too. But that means we gotta buy two appliances. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. We're going to take a quick stop at Dufresne here in town and uh, see what they've got. We don't want anything fancy, want just something cheap but uh, large capacity so we can wash all these guys' blankets all the time. It's part of living. Things break, you got to fix them. Or in this case, replace them. It's still going to be a good day though. It's still going to be a good day. Diesel, you gonna stay out here for a bit? Aren't you hungry? Diesel, you want your breakfast? You hungry? Come on, come on. Okay, we're all gonna eat without you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, it's breakfast time, man, let's go eat. You guys hungry? You guys hungry? Alright, off we go. All because of you. Mm. It's my angry voice. Wasting my Saturday spending money I didn't know I was going to have to spend. On things I didn't know were going to break. Life. All right, Dufresne, this money wasn't meant for you. But yet again, without bad luck, we'd have no luck at all. Yeah, so at least we got that. <laughs> so we're gonna go in there, take a look at some washing machines. We have no idea uh, what we're gonna get. She, she wants a set, I told them before already. I'd like it to sure, match. It doesn't have to, to be a fancy set, just a reliable set. I'm on your page with that though. I, it, I would love it to match. It's just then we have to buy two. <laughs> we won't go, I won't make us go above budget though. But I like to go big or go home, so if we're gonna get I two, know. we should just whoo, just send it. That gives <laughs> me anxiety though every time we spend big portions of money. Well, we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. Oh well, I'm still a firm believer in <laughs> get what you pay for. Yeah. So. And if they're really, really nice, we'll just take them to our new house when we build. And just like uh, the AC. Yeah, just like we're going to do with the AC and then uh, replace them with other ones that are just as good, but not our favorites, maybe. I don't know. A little less fancy, maybe. <laughs> Figured out. All right, see, this is where you got to be careful. On the main street, when you open your door, because traffic comes flying past right here. And when the door hangs right into the lane, so many people just whip their door open and don't even look. Just so it take their door off. That's why in the truck, I always drive in the left lane going through here. Oh, I guess I should take my wallet, eh? <sighs> guess we, guess we need our wallet. So we made our decision. And they're all back here. Those are the ones we're not gonna get today. We're probably gonna put those in our house that we build. The other ones we were looking at are just back here. We're looking at these. That's a very small camera. Yeah, a little GoPro. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. They work good. Yeah. And these are the ones we went that's with. That's what you bought. We're gonna go and pick them up right now. We did it. We sure did. We held ourselves back. What do you mean, we? I dialed you in. <laughs> I wanted the nice ones. Um, go big or go home. But we decided, like I, like I was telling you in the back there, those big ones, those nice ones we're gonna get for the the new house. We kept it 
moderate. I think it was one of the cheapest ones. Like, not the cheapest, cheapest, but yeah. right they up. They have a, a name brand called Amana. That's a lot cheaper, but I've never even known anybody that owned an Amana, so mm -hmm. I don't trust that. Whirlpool is tried and true. They've been around forever, so I stuck with Whirlpool. And another reason we didn't get the big ones is because they weren't in stock until the middle of the month, like May 12th, and we need them now. So the ones we did buy, we paid for them and everything. They're waiting in Winnipeg for us. She's got to go to work today. I'm going to Winnipeg to go pick them up, and then I'll be spending the day taking the old ones out, installing the new ones, and figuring out where to leave our old ones, because the dryer still works. So we either got to sell it or uh, store it for something. Another thing for the carport. Yeah. <laughs> get these shoes back on. I love these Skechers. Uh, actually, steel toes, too. I just got to clean them, because uh, I've used them for work a couple of times, and they're supposed to be my nice shoes. Right, Weasel? So, Britt just left for work. I've got to go pick up these new machines that are going to go right here. I'll be spending the day doing that, so I don't think I'm going to make it to our land today, unfortunately, to do any more clearing, because uh, life happened. So, when we get back, i got to move these out of here, put them in storage for now. This one, we'll see if we can get fixed, and then maybe we'll sell them both, or maybe we can at least just sell the dryer, because the dryer still works. But, uh, who knows? Maybe someone we know needs them more than we do, so... If you know us, let us know. Diesel's gonna come with and give me a hand. Right, Diesel? Because how am I gonna lift those things all by myself? When we get to the warehouse, I gotta go to Winnipeg to pick them up at their distribution center. The same place we picked up our uh, mattress at, actually. It's the Dufresne Warehouse over on Panet. Uh, they'll load it up for me. But Diesel's gonna come with and keep me company because it's been a while since he's just come on a ride with me anyway, right? You wanna go in the truck? Oh, yeah. As soon as I told him, I told him like about 10 minutes ago that he's going to come with me and I didn't try to get him excited or anything. Hey, you're going to come with me on a ride, going to come with me in the truck. He hasn't moved since <laughs> he came right here right away and hasn't moved. He knows he's coming with. Chevy insisted on coming as well. I could hear him crying in the house as I was getting diesel in the truck and getting all his stuff ready. And I went inside and said, you want to come too? I've never seen him so excited. So Chevy gets to come along too. It's an adventure. We'll pick up a new washing machine and a new dryer. So I haven't had any time to wash the truck this week. It's been embarrassing. I've had a filthy truck all week and I haven't had time to wash it at home. But I don't want to go to Winnipeg now with a dirty truck on a Saturday. So before we go pick up our washer and dryer, we stopped here at our favorite Super Splash car wash. Just waiting in line here. We're gonna get a nice fire and ice car wash. That's what they call it, fire and ice. They they go through the whole thing under carriage. Now, first of all, they spray it down. I've explained this to you before. It's a really good car wash, and, and they put a nice coat of wax on it at the end too, which I don't have any wax at home for my pressure washer yet. But uh, I could pick that up. But anyways, this is just I figured I'd treat myself to a little automatic car wash and then go pick up our washer and dryer. Right, boys? I'm not gonna show up to their warehouse in a dirty truck. I've been showing up to work all week with a dirty truck. I've been trying to sneak in and out, but people have seen me. Oh, so embarrassing. All right, we have made it. There it is, that yellowish building off to the left over there. That's their, that's their warehouse where they keep all the goods. So hopefully they'll, uh, they should help me get it in the truck. And then when I get home, I've got a, I've got my dolly and ramps. I can roll them right down. I'm kind of excited. Buying stuff is fun. The money wasn't supposed to go to this, but what can you do, right? What can you do? So we gotta get in line here with all the other good people who other who've also bought stuff today. Oh, we gotta park beside Mr. Dodge there. Okay, okay. I don't mind parking beside him, making him look better. I'll do him a little favor here. There you go, bud. That'll make you look a little better parked beside a Chevy. You're welcome. We've been told to back up to door number one. Because we're number one. I added that last part, but it's true. Right? Right, Chevy? It's all because of you, because we have a Chevy 
inside a Chevy. That's like double whammy. Of course they're gonna give us door number one, right? Right? Or is it because we have a weasel? The Lord of all weasels. Maybe both of them combined. They couldn't help. They couldn't help it. They saw us pull in. You know, it's a clean Chevy. We got a Chevy and the Lord of all weasels. Bet you the CEO came down and said, you know what, you give that guy door number one. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. Just waiting for them to bring it out and throw it on the back. We'll tie it down and skedaddle. Don't look at me like that. People use that word. It's a thing. Thirsty? Thirsty? Diesel, you thirsty? It's tiring being number one. All right, boys? Maybe not. <laughs> Diesel, I know you're thirsty. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come on. There you go. It's a hard job being the lord of all weasels. You need your water. Oh, such a good boy. It's a warm one out today. My truck said it was 25 degrees Celsius when we uh, made our way into the city. Yeah. All gone? You want more? You want more? I brought more. Oh yeah, we are prepared, my man. We are prepared. There you go. Hey, you can reach it, eh? Good boy. Back home here, the boys are already out here in the yard. I'd say it's the first official hot day. The AC is definitely kicked on today. And thank God, because we get into the house and it's just a nice, cool 20 degrees. I just turned it down to 19. We like to have it a little bit colder than most people. How's it going, boys? Diesel, did you have a fun ride? You have a fun ride? We picked up a washer and a dryer. You look so happy. I know, we're going to be able to wash all your dog blankets. All of them. Commander? Was a we was a wiener a good boy? No? No comment? Still not talking to me? He's, uh, he's a little upset at me because someone told him that I'm actually the boss. Destroyed his whole world. Doesn't even look at me. It is what it is. Who's back here? Where's Chevy? Oh, Chevy's all the way. Hey, Chev! Where you at, boy? Chevy! Chevy, what you doing? Just marking. Did you have a fun time? Thanks for all your help, bud. Thanks. So, the first step now is uh, getting the old ones out of there and stored away properly so that we can get the new ones off the truck and installed. And we gotta test them out, make sure they work. Because if they don't work, we got 48 hours to let them know. And I'll give us a new one. Oh, air conditioning. What an amazing invention. Has anyone given that guy who invented that an award yet? Wasn't he from Miami, Florida? Thank you. I think there's a statue of him there, isn't there? The guy who invented air conditioning? I'm serious, I think there's a statue of him. He deserves that and more. He's probably long gone already, but man, Thankful for that, dude. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right, so we gotta get uh, these guys out of here. We bought the extended warranty on our, uh, on our new machine, so we have five years full coverage. Let's hope we don't have to use it, but if we do have to use it, at least, uh, at least we, we're covered. So I'm gonna get the wheeler and uh, try to get these out of here. I guess I should uh, disconnect them first, eh? I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Details, minor details. Very tight fit.
narrower this way than it is that way, so I'm taking it through the door this way. I guess we should take this opportunity to clean underneath here. There's a vent for the furnace underneath, underneath where the dryer sits. That's not very well placed. And this is the power cable that goes to this. Why would it come out of the floor in the middle of the floor? Why wouldn't they make it come out of like the wall or something? Why does it come out there under the washing machine? <laughs> I'm gonna have to put some extra protection over that. That's some powerful energy going in right there for the dryer. That's messed up. That's messed up. It was the same thing when we installed the air conditioning. They had to run all these uh, pipes under the floor and the power for everything. And Brown Swimming and Heating did a great job. But underneath this thing here for the hot water tank, they did the same thing as, as that sort of. They ran the, the wire underneath here, like people who built this area. Just underneath there, no markings, no nothing. Nobody knows where, where the power line is. And as they were drilling through, they accidentally bumped it, right? Because why is there a wire there? No one would expect that. So they fixed it all up real quick for us. Uh, free of charge, obviously. It wasn't their fault, wasn't my fault, but they're only wired in here properly now. Just some people, when you buy a, a house from people, be careful. Because a lot of times people will just put a band-aid on things so that the house will sell. It's hard to be able to catch these things like this. Like that I didn't see obviously until now. Because why would I move the washing machine when I'm coming to look at a house I want to buy, right? I guess my best advice to you guys would be to don't be this person. Don't be the person cutting corners and trying to hide things from people you're trying to sell to. Just don't do that. Have integrity, okay? That's the best advice I can give you, is just don't, don't be like that. <laughs> Do it right, and be honest. Good work, Diesel. Good work. You still got it, man. Look at those rippling muscles. Making everyone jealous. Me included. So thank God I got the muscle here. Got these off the truck. And, uh, I guess we'll... Take the cardboard off. I'm pretty sure they work better uh, if you uh, take the cardboard off first. Hey, check this out. For my American viewers, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of something here. You ready? Look at this. America, an American company for over 100 years. Assembled in the USA. Made and assembled in the United States with Chinese parts. <laughs> I don't know that. It could be completely 100% American. I'm just making a joke. But uh, yeah, let's, oh, let's open up this little piece of America here. Am I supposed to be flying the American flag right now or like having the anthem playing in the background or something? I'm not sure how these things work. Maybe a... Uh, Reciting the Pledge of Allegiance as I open this. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. One nation. No, wait. How does it go again? Pledge allegiance. Oh no. I gotta get this right or this thing's not gonna work. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. One nation, indivisible. No. Well, yeah, isn't it? I'm gonna get it yet. One nation, you know, you know, the thing, the thing, you know, you know, it comes from America because they send you a little cardboard gun cut out. <laughs> where's, where's the dogs? <laughs> gotcha. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You're not scared of my gun? Come on, man. Look at this thing. This thing's huge. 
No? Oh, oh. Yeah, you see when you look at it from that angle, right? How about you? No? They're not afraid of my gun. Okay, but I've got a lot of American viewers, so I'm gonna get this pledge right, okay? But cut me some slack, seriously, I'm a Canadian, okay? I don't have to know these things, okay? It's a bonus that I do, okay? Let's see. U.S. Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's the thing, you know. You know the thing. That that's the thing. I used to know that off the top of my head. It just escaped me. But there you go. Now I can open up my American appliances. It is mandatory that you recite that pledge before you open any American appliance. Pretty sure it was in the fine print. I got this gift from my dad a couple of years ago and it's come in very handy multiple times. I usually always have it always have it with me. He got it uh, in Rochelle, Illinois. It's got a little truck on it. it has my name on it. That's me. That's me. So I cut open the box here and I'm going to wiggle it out. Take it inside. I wonder if this comes with the hoses or I'll, if I'll have to use the hoses from my old one. And the drainage. It's, wouldn't it come with it? Hello? Oh, there. Well, there's the drain. Oh, let's get it inside. We'll figure it out. When... Look at this. Apparently, according to this energy guide, I'll be using approximately $25 a year in electricity. I think the average person does a lot less laundry than we do. <laughs> For only two people, we do a lot of laundry. We always have to keep our dog blankets clean, so this thing's going almost every day. Which is probably why that washing machine conked out on us. And which is why we have the five year extended warranty on this baby. Fun stuff, fun stuff, all right. Now, I got very specific instructions from the wife. <clears throat> They're short and simple. Don't damage it. I like it, she keeps it simple. One instruction. are dense there's another reminder right there America see I read this wrong before uh, this is the estimated yearly energy cost uh, with similar products with this one I believe oh no okay natural gas $14 a year with natural gas 25 with electricity we have an electric water heater so it'll be about 25 bucks 100 kill 80 kilowatt hours per year and here in Manitoba, we have really good energy rates. Our energy rates here are eight cents per kilowatt hour. So you take 180 times eight cents and you'll get the approximate energy cost for the year. Which is pretty low on this. You look at that, it's like way down there. This model's way down there. Could be all the way up there. Could be there. I mean, they could extend the graph if they wanted to all the way out here and make it look even better. I get what they're doing here. It's a sales technique, but. This one I grabbed from the back so that I don't scratch the sides. You remember my one instruction. Don't damn it. It's a fit. Tight fit. But we're in. We're in. 
Okay, so we got the new washing machine in. A whole bunch of stuff in here. Blah, 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 instructions and stuff. This is a really narrow drain hose. This is much narrower than the last one. Hmm, cool. Cool, cool. What's this? <laughs> oh, great, they gave us a snack, too. I'm just kidding. I'm I'm just kidding. I'm not I'm not like that. Quick start laundry guide for the people who don't know how to do their own laundry. Good thing all of you know how to do your own laundry, right? Don't give me that excuse. Say that you don't tell don't tell me your mom does your laundry for you. I do my own laundry. I don't want to be in control of something around here. I do my own laundry, all right? You should learn how to do yours too. One day, when you live on your own, you move out of mom and dad's house, mom's not going to do your laundry for you anymore. At least she shouldn't. I hope she doesn't come to your house and do your laundry for you. Come on. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, that's pretty big. Wow, that looks bigger than the last one, I think. Yeah, this is a five uh, cubic liter. No, five something. 5 CU. I am not a professional, okay? But, uh... I guess there's just the drain hose. Yeah, there's no, uh... Okay, so I'll have to take the hoses off the last washing machine. Okay, is that how it usually goes? Do, do you usually take them from your old one? And buy them separately? I don't know. We've really got the greatest neighbors on both sides. Uh, on the one side, we have our neighbor who waves at me every morning and I look forward to it every morning on my way to work. On the other side, uh, they saw me working hard getting these things in here today and uh, that I was here by myself and they brought me over a home cooked meal for me to eat. It was delicious, absolutely delicious. We have such great neighbors. I'm, I'm very happy with where, we, where we're at here. Both sides of us. So yeah, I got them installed. What took the longest was leveling the dryer. It's not exactly level on there, but it's level here. So I'm not sure what's going on, but that's the best I could get it. So that it wouldn't wobble. And now I'm just taking this uh, protective film off of here. Ah, Britt's gonna be home right away. I think that was her messaging me just there, telling me that she's on her way home. I wanted to have this all done and looking pretty by the time she got home. There we go. There we go. There. Okay, I just gotta wipe these down a little bit. Got a little bit of dirt on here for my hands. There we go. They're not the most expensive washer and dryer. They're the basic. But, uh... What do you think, eh? Now to test them out. Better make sure there's nothing in them first, I guess. Look how big that is. It's huge. And, uh... Oh, there's some stuff in here yet. Okay. There we go. So, uh gonna run them through a cycle with nothing in there on eat both of them just to make sure it works good and that'll be that right on I don't know why that light is blinking on the camera but off camera it's not blinking at all that's weird it's not blinking but on the camera it blinks Okay, so yeah, it's uh, we're going through the first load right now, testing it out. So far, so good. The wife got home. She's very impressed. What he does. Dryer is in its what is it, third or fourth cycle already. Washing machine is working great. It's so quiet, it's so quiet. You can barely hear it working when you're standing right beside it crazy because they look like cheaper models right but they have a lot of the new cool technologies in there chevy approves weasel approves how about the boss so far i mean i've barely gotten to use it i've been hogging it i know i'm excited i got a new toy he hogs it every weekend so that's okay though i can't be upset you're washing our bed sheets so mm -hmm. what do you think of it though it's quiet eh yeah 
that nice big drum. Mm -hmm. It's really good so far. I like it. I'm glad that we held ourselves back on spending too much. And it's good for this house. It's yep. fully functional. More than functional. It's pretty cool. Chevy? <laughs> Chevy was scared of the noises it was making yesterday. Yeah, he was freaking out. He doesn't like anything new. He was freaking out at the bubble wrap yesterday. Now he just freaked out at the neighbors, and I had to get mad at him, and now he's trying to suck up, and he's following me everywhere. Feels bad. He feels bad. Holy shit. I'm so sorry, you lost control. Woo. Diesel. You were no better. Kissing up. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So it was a successful day. Mm -hmm. So Monday we're back to work. We'll see you then. Maybe I should take her to work with me once. Huh? You want to drive the truck? I'd rather sell you drive the truck, I'll sleep. It'll be good. I'll be fine with it. It's I'm fine. nothing like you. I couldn't, even use, couldn't even use your license. <laughs> just give you my driver's license. Five foot ten. <laughs> no beard. Ah, uh, well. Okay, well, we'll see you guys later.